kids welcome to church it's a wonderful sunday and i'm so excited to have you here i have a lot planned for you today but first things first it's time to pray so hands together and eyes closed in jesus name thank you lord for all you've done for us may your name be glorified and worship thank you for all you teach us thank you for everything you've done for us in jesus mighty name we've prayed amen okay kids you know what comes next it's time for praise and worship so everybody up 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 up, up. let's get ready to praise the lord say that praise God always our text today is taken from Psalm chapter 31 verses 1 to 3 Psalm can everybody repeat that Psalm chapter 31 verses 1 to 3 and it says 
I will exalt the Lord at all times. His praise will be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord. Let the afflicted hear and rejoice. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Amen. Amen. God is worthy of all our praise and adoration because he deserves it. We cannot praise God enough for all his goodness and mercy. We can praise God all the time. We don't only praise God in church alone. We praise God at home, in the car, or while doing activities. We praise God for the gift of life, waking up each day and going about our activities in good health. It is not right that we should go about these things and do these things without showing God how wonderful he is showing God the gratitude for all the things he has done for us. God does so many things for us daily and it is not right that we should go around pretending as though we're the ones doing it for ourselves. We need to understand that God is the one that has given us all these gifts. We can praise God at home, in the car, doing all sorts of activities. We can praise God for the gift of life, waking up every day and going about these activities. Okay? It is not right that we deserve it, and we do not, but as a result of God's mercies, we are blessed this way, and we should praise Him for it. We can praise God in many ways. We can tell Him how much we love Him and how glad we are for all the things He's done for us. We can praise Him for all the things that He has created. We can praise Him using all His names, such as the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I Am that I Am, the Greatest of All, our Savior, and so on. We can sing and dance praises to him. We can spend time learning new songs so we can praise him. You can get the lyrics of a new song that you really, really like from YouTube, from your teachers, from your parents, and take time out to learn the song so you can praise him. You can join children's choir or a dance team at your church. You can learn how to play a musical instrument to give God praise. You could even write songs or poetry about how wonderful God is. Do you sometimes feel unhappy and unmoved to praise God when others are praising God? We are encouraged to give God praise all the time because he is a good God. When you don't feel like praising God, try and remind yourself of what God has done for you in the past. How he came through for you and your family. And that God that did it before can still do it again. God is always faithful. Praising God is showing gratitude to him for all his good works towards us. Amen? Amen. Okay, kids. Now it's time for our memory verse. And our memory verse today is taken from Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15. Can you guys repeat that? Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15. And it says, Therefore, let us offer through Jesus a continual sacrifice of praise to God, proclaiming our allegiance to his name. One more time. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15. Therefore, let us offer through Jesus a continual sacrifice of praise to God, proclaiming our allegiance to his name. Amen. Amen. I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope you understand that it's so, so important to praise God, to praise Jesus for all the good things he has done for us. Now it's time for us to do some more dancing and singing. So everybody, up, up, up. let's get ready to praise the Lord.
Okay, kids, I hope you enjoyed the dancing and the singing and the songs. I also hope you enjoyed today's topic. I hope you learned a lot. And now it's time to go. And I'll see you next, again next week. But before we round up, you know what we have to do. Hands together and eyes closed. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, for what you've done for us. May your name be glorified and worshipped. Thank you for everything you do for us. Thank you for teaching us that we are meant to praise and worship you and give you all the glory for the good works you've done in our lives. Thank you for everything you've done for us and you keep doing for us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Okay, kids, I'll see you again next week. Bye.